Well, everybody, today we are in Villa Padiena with German Schaefer and with It's Hanuma. And uh, we played a tournament uh, last weekend and uh, we learned a lot about paddle and uh, we wanted to uh, get some extra help from German with the situation where we have like a chiquita. And what the mistake is, in my opinion, German, is that for me, sometimes I play a folly lop and they kill me again. They are already further away from the net. And I find it very difficult to play this soft folly. Sometimes I'm like here, but they step back and I play folly lop and they play easy overhead. Or sometimes I think we should play one more soft and then we go forward together. And we had a session with Carlos, Carlos. Munoz last weekend and he said you have to say like a, um, a like sign. A word. Yeah, a word that you have to go like, okay, go. And then you play the chiquita and then you go to the net and then you try to take the net together. And I think we want to improve in the variation a lot because I am coming from Lob, 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 lob. And now we're trying to get into this Chiquita play style. And when you're under pressure, that's not always easy. Yesterday, sometimes they were super close to the net and they boom. And sometimes they are far from the net, so they switch around every single time. So it's like a grind to get on the point and see where they have their weakness. As you say, to play Chiquitas and, and lob, it's okay as well. But the main reason what we want to do right now in, in a modern paddle is going more and more towards that. Lebron and Galan has changed the way of playing and they are the best doing this. What you want is to shorter your opponent's time of reaction. So let's say I'm here. If I play there, right, I'm getting you in trouble. If I stay here, by the time the ball comes to me and gets back to you, you have had time to adjust your position he had as well. If in the same situation, I make one or two steps back, I have reduced dramatically your time of reaction. Let's say I'm playing with if. If I stay here, see, whatever I do, it doesn't really hurt, right? But let's look at the same situation if I come here. Point. Because the court is very big for him. From here, he has time enough to cover that and that. But if I play from here, he will have to make a choice. Either he covers the middle or he covers the side. And this is a little bit, for me, the key of all of this. I step one or two steps, and then when he plays, he will make a move. And the key there is not to rush. Depending on what he does, that will be my choice. And I wouldn't care so much about telling go or not go. My partner should see that happening. How do I know if I go or not? Just look at the ball. If the ball is below the net, we can go. If the ball is higher than the net, it's not a good idea. Just stay. Just look at the ball. In the same way, how do you know if I have to move this way or that way? I look at the ball. This is the same example. Just look at the ball. Because otherwise I have to be thinking about playing, about telling my partner what to do. I mean, it's good if you can do it. But for me, it's one more complication that you could just avoid. Whenever the ball is lower than the net, the opponent's only options are high or short. In any case, to move forward is a good idea. Now, what could be happening is that you're running too much and that's why you don't find yourself precise enough to play down and then this yeah. is more comfortable. So for me, the key of all this system you guys trying to play is to learn how to move and when to stop forwards. And to recognize each other's shots when we can go. Because the earlier we know from each other that we play the Jikita, the, fa the faster we are at the net. Well, that comes by just creating a, a, a playing system that you, that you decide together how you're going to do it. So whenever the ball is here, I know what my partner is going to do because I know his options. And also it's important that we follow that. For example, let's say I'm here and I see my partner is going to play a vibora. I'm going to move here because he should be playing the vibora there. If all of a sudden he changes and he plays the vibora there, I'm in trouble. So it's important to know more or less that we play the same game and that's where you should spend time in building that strategy because it will vary depending on your skills or your skills because maybe we say okay the best strategy is to play there and I say no but listen man this is super uncomfortable for me well we fight to find another strategy you should start making kind of like agreements floating ball in the middle is going to be yours because I'm back and I have powerful good or for example when I play with my partner he's not too good with his forehand volley so our agreement is that I'm taking more than usual the middle because I like my back and volley, and he covers me more than usual with the overhead. That's very specific from us. We know like that. So I know I can come like this, and if they play a lot, I'm calm, because I know 
he's ready to take that. These are some things that you have to build together considering your skills. But we can start with that side and you will be like joining him. But you are the, gonna be the one playing. Then I can switch side and you're gonna be more like the plane. But the, the one, like you in this case, be ready because the ball might go to you. So you have to follow. So I want you to do very, very basic. Chiquita in the middle, if it's possible on this side better to open up the space even more because I'm here. So if you play there, I will not take it. So what you want is this player that has the bigger court to come here. So you would say that in the middle is the best place for the Chiquita? For me as well. It depends if I see a gap somewhere else. But normally, yeah. if you play the Chiquita here and you try to come, well, I can pass you through the middle. Yeah. So if you cover the middle, then I can go there. So if you play here, you don't have that problem. The ball will go very straight to you. So this would be a good option to play soft, but just, just to stay? Yes. For example, what you can do there is you can place it one and maybe make one step and you put pressure. Oh yeah, that, like don't go all the way. Yes, you come, he stays a little bit. So you are fishing. So if I lift it, you're kind of coming from. But still, more and more, I like the beetle because also that creates confusion between them. Who's going to take it, etc., etc. I like, and this is what is coming now. So you're going to play the Chiquita here and your vo next volley there. So why? the volley there because since he's closer already my time of reaction it is shorter and he's gonna hurt me more but the important thing is that you don't do it from behind the line because then i have a lot of time of reaction so my point is that if you're behind the line play a lot in the middle either you come or not a lot in the middle as soon as you come in here that's when you should stop playing in the middle and start opening more okay. the angles chiquita here and you make one step maybe two steps and so do you after this we continue to play the point. Ba. Vale. Wait, 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 look where you are. Too far forward. Don't go all in and don't try to win the point with that first ball. You're gonna place it and going to reach it. So when you play your first volley, still soft, you will have time for one more step. And probably with that one, is the one you're gonna beat me. Va. A ver. Ay, stop. Go on, go on, aye! So we build up twice? Yes. The, the most important thing is to make the, the stops on time. Because that way, first of all, my balance is good. And second, I will be able to hit the ball in front. Even if I have to hit it low, it's okay. I'm ready, you both got have good volleys. But many times, people is so willing to get to the net that what happens? Ball behind me, or ball here and I don't make good decisions because I'm on the move. If I stop, maybe I decide to let the ball bounce and come up again and play. Yeah. Maybe I decide to play again in the middle because I saw the guy moving, but all that will happen if we stop on time. So what I want you guys to try to do is to walk the court more. First of all, when you choose to play Chiquita, the ball should be somewhere like here. So we play, stop, place it, and again, this would be a very good way to slow the rally down because I felt like sometimes we ha the, the rhythm is getting very fast and we try to play the winner too early. Exactly, that's what, that's what I go in. When do I play the winner? When my position is in a position of advantage regarding to my opponent's position. If you are there and I am here, who has the advantage? You do. It doesn't matter if I have the ball here because I can attack you. All you have to do is boom, I'm exposed unless I, in a much clear position of advantage, I will keep playing soft. That's, for me, the, the principle. Not to rush to go for it. Build it up. You don't even have to play fast the last one. See? And if the ball passes, I will play soft there and I win the point. I don't really need to accelerate. Because remember, if you play slow, what happens? You have time. And if you play slow, the opponent will always have a ball low. If I play fast, See, it's impossible to make the ball go down if I play so fast. Now, if I play soft, oh, sorry, like yeah. you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. So I play slow, I have time, and you have to, but see? So this is for me why it's so important to play slow. It's not about playing slow all the time. Let's say I'm in the net, all right? In the minute I play a short ball, I know you're gonna play Chiquita and come, right? So when you play the Chiquita, if I see you coming, what am I normally going to do? That's when you play the log. Yeah. Only when you see me making the step. If I don't make the step, 
what I find difficult that if you play like a fast volley, so I decide to play the Chiquita, I'm here and I play the Chiquita and, and they step in close to the net and they play fast and then I'm here and then I just react with the volley lob. Maybe it's because the Chiquita is way too slow. It has to be a balance. And maybe sometimes people want to bounce it there, the Chiquita. If you bounce it there, I will let it bounce, come up and go. So when you play Chiquita, go more for my feet or for my knee, actually. What you want is that I have a low volley. If I am here, then the Chiquita has to be longer. So always the reference is your opponent, the feet of the opponent. As their position is dynamic, your reference should be dynamic. It's like when people listen to us, okay, go for the wide line. Why? If the opponent is three steps in front of the line, yeah. So this is why it's me mega important to do rallies and not cone drills. Exactly. With every ball you touch, you make a step. If you see that you have played a bad ball, you can come back. That's why I don't want you to come all in. I... Be careful with going too high. So try to close your hand a little bit, all right? Ba. Ahí, eso. Good first ball, you're making the mistake on the second one because you're playing a half volley. You did good letting the ball bounce, but you should have waited a little bit longer. So you did this. Look at the difference. Wait and then. Because also as you wait longer, he will make a move. If he waits, you go. If he moves, you go over. You did it to give him less time of reaction. In this case, I prefer to choose to be more precise, okay. even if I wait longer. Okay. You try to see how we go. Vale, bien. That's why I don't like to play the second ball here. Oh, I'm already there. Yeah, not only that, he opens that door. Oh, okay. So, Chiquita here, maybe more here, but then, Make him move. Ahí. Es exactly. Ahí. Ex yeah, yeah, but that's exactly the idea. And it, it, you don't feel pressure, you don't feel any stress or anything like this. Va. Ahí. Yes. Ahí. That's all right, that's all right. That would be your partner. That's why this player is so important. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? I'm following him. And when he opened the gap, I just came here. Good, but don't stop the racket. Always follow through. The only thing I would improve a little bit, don't do it so much with your hand. That's why you stop. Now, turn more. Why? Because then you can put more pressure. If you do it with your hand, it's a floating ball. So always there. It's good that you're playing here because this could happen, like the floating balls. If you put it here for him, it's going to be too easy. Now we see it from the other way around. So what do I do when they attack me? Play at his feet. Just make sure he has a low ball and make a step. Vale. Yeah. The choice you make is quite risky because we are moving forwards, but we're still quite far back. What did I say you should do now? A chiquita. So a contra chiquita. Ahí. See the difference? Because he cannot do much with that ball. And you buy yourself some time. Bravo. Again. You should have waited a little bit longer so you have more control. Then you have to see, because in this case, the ball was quite far from you, you would not be able to control it so well. So maybe the choice would have been there yeah. or middle again. But that's why I want you to stop early. So you always have the ball in front, and so it's easier always to play that. Uh, but also, German, if, if it waits longer for hitting the ball, maybe it helps you to have more time to go forward. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why, for me, the only mistake you're making is when you do the half volley. So, the choice is either you volley, or if you don't volley, it's because you want to hit the ball up here. But you are choosing to let it bounce and hitting it too soon. Yeah. So that's for me the only mistake you're making. All the other things are perfect. Ahí. See? I'm waiting. Go. 
Vale, in this last one, he could have gone. But you see how I waited this time. And as I waited, I saw him moving there, I replay there. Two. Yeah, see? You gave me a lot of time to get here. You should not cover like that. You should be covering more like this. Yeah, forwards. But as I say, your problem begins in the minute he's here. That's why I get so upset with everybody when they play these floating shit volleys. Because once the opponent is here, it's a problem. If I step forward, they pass me. If I don't step forward, they pass me. So the real goal is to keep the opponent behind. And this is why whenever you play a good ball, you should not stay here. Because the minute you are here, you push shit. You put a lot of pressure <laughs> on the opponent. And then you will force the opponent to make more mistakes as well because they're going to take more risk. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> wow. Bien, eso. But remember, stop earlier. Don't come all in. Claro. Yeah. That, does that make sense or? Absolutely, because you know I'm moving forwards. Now, pay more attention to the chiquita. Va. Ahí. Exactly. See, that's just enough. Yeah. You don't need to come any further. Vale. See, this is why I want you to stop, because the opponent can also play there. A little bit further there, it will hurt me more, and also it will open up more. There will be less probable that I can play on there. So the question is not where should I stop when I'm moving forward, it's when should I stop. The perfect moment is when the opponent is about to hit the ball. Why is this? Well, I'm going to the logical place, but I don't really know if they're going to play here, there, or there. So what do I do? I stop and watch. Once I see, I will still have time for one more move. If I didn't stop then, it will be too late to compensate. So let's say I'm running this way. If you play here, I'm okay. But if you play there, for me to stop and go, it's trouble. So one step to maximum, stop, then another one. Vale. Good, but still the ball is coming to me. Taking more away, a little bit more, okay? Va. Ahí. See the difference? First, I don't have time to do what I want to do, and second, it would take me longer to recover. One way or another, you're gonna open a spot. The important thing is that you both keep that in mind. So your next shot, whoever takes it, should be in the open spot. For me, you played in a good place, so if I play there, you were still there. I saw him moving to the middle, that's why I changed. Vale, bien. But you see the pressure I'm putting on him now, because he sees me going. Vamos. But see, the first stop is here. Yeah, and then the, the tempo is very slow. Mm -hmm. I can play there as well, but I don't open so many angles. But when did I make this the good move? When I took you to the middle. So that's what you have to see. And for both, a technical thing that you need to learn is this. Look at the World Paddle Tour. Everybody has it. From down here, soft there is your only space and super, super soft. So I would like to make a drill with both of you that you hit first one, tap, second one, the next one. Just to get this first volley. Ahí. Eso es. Try to play the chiquita further and lower, yes? Ahí. Vamos. Exactly. Ahí. Go, 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 go. Vale. Remember, if you have to let it bounce, then no rush. Because then you could have seen him moving forwards, etc. Ahí. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But your partner will be there. I like the way you did it now, eh? You waited. Good, good transition. Ready here? Vamos. Eso. Eso. Vale. See? Yep. But you're, putting, you, you're making him take more risk now. Yep. But still, no problem. As long as you remain calm and you play soft, that's something super good. Vamos. Vale. Yep. See? Yep. For him, it's very difficult to get that ball. He knows you're playing there. And still, he cannot come and attack. When, when he plays the chiquita here, 
you move a little bit forward, but don't go all into the middle. You can leave the middle open, because if they play fast, the ball will come back, and any of you can go. In the minute you see he's going for that backhand, you should know what he's going to do next, which is you come here and close, and vice versa. You play here now, and you play there, but you practice to put it at his feet. So, on his forehand, but low. That's priority number one. When I see somebody coming, I want to play soft so he has the ball here and never here. That's the only thing that really matters. I... When the ball is far, that is a good option. When the ball is close, it is not a good option anymore. So, middle, or if you see space, there or there. I... Vale. The idea is not to play straight. You want the ball to do this. So do it with the pace. Va. Ahí. Eso. And go, and go, and go, and go. Claro. Oh. When you play that chiquita, very good. Go forward. And the way he has space to contra chiquita again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, but he can play a lot. Fantastic, you have time. Ahí. Eso. Hey! Yeah, that's the other thing. Once I've done it a few times, I can play with that. You play too fast the first one. This is probably what happens to you guys. You go for it too soon. Up. Vale. Yeah, this is the moment when you should start introducing the love because he's all the time going and closing now. Bien. If you, yeah, because you saw space, you put it down. If you see him moving, then you go up. Sometimes, if they push you too far this way, then your escape is there. If the ball comes where you are, there. Well, when they take you out, you rest there because as you play this, it's going to be very hard to come back and cover that. <clears throat> vale, bien. But you see, since you stopped on time, you got it. Yeah. Otherwise, the ball will be behind you. Perfecto, perfecto. When you are counterattacking, this that you've been practicing, yeah. what do you think is the key, or, or at least one of them? To slow down. To slow down the game? Bien. But what else? What did you start to doing? Stopping on time early. Stopping on time. Because that's when you have the view, when you have the time to make choices. If I'm on the run, it's very difficult to make good decisions. Yeah, but also, yeah, mentally as well. Yeah, and remember, that extra second that you wait, so it's not just to wait, but to wait to hit the ball, is that second where you can see the opponent moving or not. And depending on that, you're going to do one thing or another. Yeah, so you never rush. Even when you're playing the Chiquita, you never rush. No, I mean, Galan for me is probably one of the best ones doing this, but also Chingoto, Lebron. You see them walking fast. They go like, but you're never going to see them running forwards like that. It's kind of like, Never jump stages, let's say. So if I am here, I will never target to get there. From here, my target is to get here. From here, probably here. From here, here. I don't jump steps, of course, unless you play a love and you pass. So if you make like zones on the court, exactly. it would be like maybe six or seven. Yes, a draw like that that I use a lot to teach, depending on which zone you are, yeah. you make these decisions or those. So you reduce your choices. So your decision-making process is a lot easier because it's depending on where you are, you're always going to have two choices, yeah. maybe three. So we can have that for another episode. Yeah, podcast maybe, someone. For a podcast, podcast, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. That would be what good. What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you know, uh, want to have a lesson with German, it's also here on the club. If you need his number, then uh, comment and uh, I will give it to you. Vamos. Vamos. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.